फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ एस निशानदार टूडे वी गोइंग टू कवर द लास्ट न्यूमरिकल ऑन स्टीम टर्बाइन दिस इज द सेवन न्यूमरिकल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज गो थ्रू द ऑल द वीडियोज टूडे वी गोइंग टू इंक्रीज द टफनेस एंड दो नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स वेर कवर इन न्यूमरिकल इट सेल्फ ओके सी द फॉर्म्यूलाज वी गो थ्रू द नंबर ऑफ फॉर्म्यूलाज नाउ फर्स्ट वन इज द वी बी वी नो दैट वी बी ब्लेड वेलोसिटी पाइडेन अपॉन सिक्सटी दिस इज द ड्रम डायमीटर एन इज द आर पी एम If mass of steam is not given, okay. In previous numerical, all the numerical the mass of steam is given. But if mass of steam is not given, such a case is M S is equal to N A V upon X into V F G. Okay, the value of X and V F G is taken at low pressure, that is L P, where N is the number of nozzle, area of nozzle, A V is the absolute velocity. Now, how to calculate V? There is one previous number we see v is equal to forty four point seventy two under root h d. There is the enthalpy drop by using Morley chart. We can calculate the enthalpy drop also. Okay, area of nozzle pi by four d square where d is the nozzle diameter. Now there is term v f g. V f g is nothing but the specific volume of wet steam. V g minus v f. The value of v g and v f taken at a low pressure from a steam table pressure basis chart. Okay, where n is the number of nozzle now see the numerical in a certain stage of impulse turbine the nozzle angle is 20 degree alpha is given with the plane of the wheel the mean diameter of the blade ring is 2.8 meter so i have given the drum diameter that is the 2.8 it develops 55 kilowatt at 2400 rpm the given power and n rpm four nozzles they are given small n four nozzles each of 10 mm diameter nozzle diameter small d expand steam isentropically we know the steam expand isentropically in the turbine from 15 bar and 250 degree celsius to 0.5 bar there is 15 bar is the boiler pressure to the condenser pressure is 0.5 bar the initial condition of steam is 250 degree celsius it must be superated steam they also given axial thrust is 3.5 newton calculate blade angles at entrance and exit and power lost in blade friction they are ask power lost in blade friction okay now the given data is alpha is the drum diameter power in kilowatt we taken in watt rpm small d number of nozzles they have ask theta phi and the power loss not p power loss in friction okay now we can calculate first vb for calculating vb they given hint d and n so first calculate vb is around 352 meter per second okay then now we know the formula of power power is equal to mass of steam total whirl into vb in previous numerical by using this formula we first calculate the whirl velocity okay but in that case mass of steam is also not given okay and total whirl is also unknown first we calculate the mass of steam oh, first calculate mass of steam for calculating mass of steam we know the formula nav x into vfg at low pressure for calculating mass of steam first we find out the number of parameters we take first parameter is the v again 44.72 under root hd by using molle diagram we calculate the enthalpy drop okay first look at the point 1 there is a condition of steam at 15 bar and 250 degree celsius take enthalpy at point 1 from point 1 the steam expands isentropically on the entropy axis makes line perpendicular when it intersect up to the low pressure is a point 5 bar you can look at the point 2 is enthalpy is around 2330 And also take the final condition of steam, the value of x we need in formula for calculating mass of steam. There is dryness fraction line, the value of x two. We first draw of enthalpy drop, calculate is around five ninety kilojoule per kg. Then calculate absolute velocity, the final condition of steam. Now area of each nozzle pi by four d square, where d is given is taken in meter. Okay, in area is around seven point eight five four into ten less to Minus five meter square. Okay, now mass of steam n is given. 
A can calculate, we can calculate. Final condition of steam also can get 0.86. Now, how to calculate VFG? Is again VFG is equal to VG minus VF from steam table. 0.5 bar from steam table pressure basis chart. Take the value of VG and VF at 0.5 bar. So, we can get VFG is around 3.239 m cube per kg. Now, put all the parameters in the mass of steam. We can get mass of steam is around 0 0.12 kg per second. Now, the fundamental formula P, P is given. MS, we can calculate. The wind can calculate by the formula total whirl velocity. Okay, they also given the axial thrust in the numerical is 3.5 Newton. The formula is M into Vf minus Vf1. Mass of steam is there. We can get one relation Vf minus Vf1 is equal to 29.2. By using this relation is very useful for completing our velocity triangle diagram. Now we move further towards the diagram. Now diagram. Vb is given. Take a scale. I have taken scale 1 cm is equal to 100 meter per second. Draw AB first Vb with proper scale. Make an angle alpha of 20 degree. On that line we plot V. Okay, we can get point now A, B and C. Join A, C. Draw, make a perpendicular line. That is the C. Now, very important term is, we know now total whirl. So, from point E, make a total whirl velocity line. Okay, and the value EF at point F, we can get EF is the total whirl. Now, we know that from point F, there is the axial flow at outlet which is always perpendicular. So, make a perpendicular line. Okay, now we know the VF1. Okay, initially we calculate VF1. We get now relation VF minus VF1 is equal to 29.2. From velocity triangle diagram, we get value of VF first. And from VF, we calculate by using this relation VF1 is around 340.83. Now make a proper distance or scale that is the we first calculate vf okay then join the lines to the a to the b okay they ask inlet blade angle and outlet blade angle if you take proper scale and make an inverse triangle diagram the major angle theta and phi is around now Theta is inlet blade angle is 29 degree and phi is the 28 degree. Now, very important term, they also ask power lost in friction. Okay, the formula is Vr square minus Vr1 square upon 2000. Relative velocity at inlet and relative velocity at outlet. So, the power lost in friction is around 30 kilowatt.